semester coming up, who will you be playing for? I'll be going to Colorado. Huh. 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 Things started so promising. If you don't know, Kamani McLean is out of there. He is going to be entering the transfer portal. That's according to multiple reports, his Instagram, and he was on a Twitter space where he confronted fans and said, stop taking this decision so personal. He's gone. He's going to be the transfer portal. We're going to play his uh, spaces clip later on in this video. But in turn, Coach Prime said, look, today was portal day. He told his team, you either going to jump or ride. And everybody that was there said they were going to ride. But this was not the first time this has happened as far as transfers go. And really him daring Kamani specifically. He has dared Kamani to transfer on and off over the last year. But I want to start with the truth. All right. Straight up truth. Kamani is a dog. He was the number one recruit in the country. But like most freshmen, he was raw, not polished. He had slow feet. He got beat when he faced skilled receivers, and that was due to a lot to his lack of fundamentals. But again, we want to call a spade a spade. He is a great football player. I have seen guys be flawed, flawless in technique and practice or individual skill drills, but be average when the game actually starts. That happens. I really truly think he's a gamer. You don't become the number one recruit in the country for no reason. I just think... Uh, he was so good, and this happens as well. Coaches did not push him in high school to do the fundamental things. And again, it happens. I always think of Vince Young. I think about how gifted he was running and throwing on a run. But when it came to working within the offense and throwing on schedule, he struggled in the NFL. And he fell out of the league earlier than people thought he would. Now, I want to be fair. My folks in Boulder said the problem was he just wasn't Travis. Travis at the bar. Travis was the number one recruit in high school beforehand. Kamani was the number one recruit. So Travis Hunter setting that expectation on and off the field. Study and film. No parties. Above average work ethic. It was always that comparison. And I can understand how a young kid from Florida all the way across the country. And I'm talking about Kamani. Comes to a new team. And he thinks, oh, I'm the most talented person here. Or whatever the case may be. And now he has to compete with a top five pick who does not come out of the game on offense or defense. So you add on him being homesick, but his counterpart that he's going to be compared to is like the effing Michael Jordan of football who is insane. And oh, by the way, your coach is a Hall of Fame and greatest cornerback of all time. Now, say what you want. That's a challenging ass situation. So I'm not faulting anybody. I don't know if anybody could come in and, and deal with that kind of situation. I give him credit for having a heart to go try it. Now, also, my folks in Boulder said he was not consistent with the stuff off the field with him being on time. He did lack a work ethic in general, and he was told he did not do enough to win to be declared the starter in the fall. And that pissed him off. And that's understandable. But Hodge and Xavier McKinney have played well enough so far to make it still an open competition. Kudos to them. But at no time, I want to make sure I say this, at no time was he asked to leave the program. That was a Kormani decision. He felt he was told one thing and then changed up, which is, to me, related to his Instagram story, where he says, basically, loosely, fool me once, shame on me, but not twice. Now, I want to say this does sound familiar. A high-profile corner deciding to flip in the spring. You know, Nico Reed comes to mind where he flipped to Oregon prior to the spring game last year. And if you remember, the coaches were caught flat-footed. They really thought he would be around in the fall. And then Lamonis Craig, the wide receiver, left after the spring game. A source let me know the spring game was not only pushed back for better weather in Colorado, but also because of a portal. If they were going to get surprised by a player, they'd rather it before the spring game, which is now on April 27th. The spring football portal window is open from april 16th to april 30th that gives cu players that get to the spring game about three days to decide what's up prime decided to take a little bit more control of his roster now let me get back to kamani all right again kamani the number one recruit in the country dog you, you can't tell that man he ain't starting and think he would be cool with it i mean that's not going to happen he's probably going to pick up an nil deal and go to miami is what i'm being told that is not a certainty but i do know he experienced a lot of homesickness so i do imagine him being at a florida school now will he be at a, will he be a gator will he be a hurricane or will he be a seminal 
or will he be a Golden Knight? Now, remember, the Golden Knights are on the Colorado schedule. Now, remember, Komani is from Lakeland, Florida, which is a very short drive to Orlando where uh, UCF is. Remember, UCF has a big time head coach, too, that will let Komani play. I'm just saying, let's just stay tuned. But in in some, it's it's really it's really a shame. Every fan of CU thought they had generational booking corners for a little bit with Hunter and McLean. Not everything works out that way. And you got to remember, Cormani is a young man in college and feels this is the best pass path for him. I do not think he cheated the program, Coach Prime, his teammates. It just didn't work out. It happens. And maybe he is right. Y'all fans who are yelling at him and and whatever saying he betrayed whatever i think maybe y'all taking it too personal harry sports hey bro say what yeah boy taking him. this a little hey, too yo, personal <laughs> yeah facts yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>